Hello, my name is Constance Guguentuli. I am speaking to you through my smartphone using communication software as I am unable to speak. I am employed at the Center for Augmentative and Alternative Communication at the University of Pretoria. I am a disability advocate for persons who require augmentative and alternative communication. I am proud to have worked on this research project for UNICEF and Future Africa at University of Pretoria. I was responsible for helping to develop the graphic symbols used in the project. I also used my personal perspective and lived experiences of healthcare settings to share ideas. I am proud to share that I was also able to co-author a paper. This study is important because it encourages people with disabilities to be independent and to consult with their doctor or healthcare provider regarding making important decisions around their wellness. I have experienced lots of growth in my job. It has also given me the opportunity to teach and help other people to understand the field of augmentative and alternative communication. I am privileged to be able to help and advocate for other people in a similar situation to me. I was born and bred in a local township called Mamalodi. I lost my voice mysteriously overnight after being ill from a normal sore throat. After losing my voice, life was extremely hard for me and my family. As the years went by, I went to hospital for treatment, trying to find out what happened or what caused my voice loss. We still have no answers. I went to hospital for speech therapy for a year. I was enrolled at a school called Pretoria School for Children with Cerebral Palsy after which I attended New Hope School. This was because I was rejected by my mainstream school because they said they cannot prevent or stop other kids from making fun of me. It was really a sad time for me. At school, one of the speech therapists made a communication board for me that helped me to make myself understood. After school, I was invited to attend a youth empowerment program for young people who require augmentative and alternative communication at the Center for Augmentative and Alternative Communication at the University of Pretoria. I attended for the week and I started to have dreams and goals for my life again. At the end, I received my first electronic communication device in 2009. I now have an audible voice and my life is so much fun. After being introduced to augmentative and alternative communication, I was given a chance to become something in life again. I use speech assistant, which is a text to speech application for people with little or no functional speech. I use my Android smartphone loaded with a software called Speech Assistant on a daily basis at work and home to say my say. I even use it in taxis to tell the driver where I am getting off. Through augmentative and alternative communication, I live my life and now I am a mom. I am a mother to two beautiful daughters. They both understand me so well, even with my synthetic voice. Augmentative and alternative communication has restored my confidence and helps me to live my life to the fullest. Thank you 
for the opportunity to share with you my experience 